Good afternoon on what is a cool, cloudy uh, but mild day. It is Saturday the 28th of May and I have a nice cup, hot cup of tea. And uh, a parcel to unbox. So, let's get to it. Is Ominous Crypt of the Blood Moss uh, by Frederick Folds. It's um, designed it's from um, an um press and it's designed for it's a scenario designed for use with old school essentials. Or indeed, it will happily work with the retro clone of your choice. So, a mad mage, a cosmic fungal entity, a defiled crypt. They say, uh, Ursadol the, the Mad was the greatest mind to ever um, to breach the co great cosmic void. That he looked beyond the, my the myriad stars and the blackest depths of hells into swirling magical protoplasmic morass that is the beginning and ending, end of everything. When they found his corpse so hideously changed, was it, uh, was it that, he, it dro that, dro that drove those who saw it to madness and despair? Fearful they entombed him in the crypt of his forebears and sealed it tight. But little did I know that Ursadol uh, brought back something with him from his cosmic journey and it's hungry. A dungeon crawling adventure of cosmic horror for characters second to fourth level. So, nice little hardback. Um, but, uh, kind of odd cover, I mean, it is, it's sort of, it's essentially a bit of, um, barren landscape covered in moss. Um, but we open up and uh, it, let's have a look. So, there we go. Clearly states, uh, an adventure for old school essentials and other old school fantasy role playing games. So, you know, works with a lot of them. Um, and, uh, introduction and um, sets everything up. We've got the, the referee's background. So, it's, it's plain, simple, clearly laid out. Uh, it uses bullet points to get the get, get the uh, points across fairly quickly and easily and in eye catching form. Artwork's decent so far. Um, and then we have the blood moss itself, full stats there. Um, but, uh, it's an extra dimensional protomastic uh, um, plasmic uh, mycelial network of nanofibers that feeds on consciousness and hungers for the experiences of sentient beings. Um, well, while it can do little to defend itself directly other than infesting a potential host with its spores, as it is, as it is intelligent increases with, um, as its intelligence increases, it gains powers that allow it to animate nearby objects and reanimate corpses for defence. So, yeah. And then we have hooks, which will get the player characters involved in the adventure. So, a plea for help, uh, um, a bond of blood, a dangerous bargain, and so on. Um, all can be used to get the characters involved. And then we come to um, the village, which is the essentially a small hamlet of the referee's choice that should be located on a river. So, um, you know, it's got fields of dying crops, um, that uh, people are despairing, and there are people dying, and so on. A very atypical, sort of like Dungeons and Dragons style play. There's a, vill a village in peril, it's isolated, you come and hope, help. Um, almost to the point that it's a cliche, but, you know, it's a good starting point. And then uh, we have the actual entrance to the crypt. Um, random table events, crab spiders, and a nice, nice little map there. Oh, right away, right, right. yeah. But uh, uh, that's nicely done, nice and clear. Uh, let's see who's done the maps. Um, which, uh, cover art, enjoy art, co which Frederick Folds, the author himself. So, but again, decent map. So that's a decent little dungeon map. Um, Right. Uh, and we get on to individual locations. So, for example, we have a whole page just devoted to a sealed passage. It's um, right, uh, and then the Grand Hall. So you can see these are excerpts from the main map. I should I expect. Um, so yeah, we have. Well, there's the sealed passage. Then we've got the Grand Hall and so on. And we're going through these locations step by step. 
and I do like the fact that he, he is actually using excerpts from the map. You know, so you go, okay, where is this on the map? You can go and look. So giving these a essentially a, a one or two page spread depending upon their size. Um, so it's not a huge dungeon as such, but it is um, nicely detailed, or as detailed as it, it needs to be. But given the space for that, um, uh, for that detailing, uh, you know, it's, this could be much. This could be crammed in a bit tighter, um, you know, uh, uh, not really separated out. So then we go on to let me see. We've got beyond the iron door, and we've got Hall of Judgment. Ossery of Bones, almost a little bit redundant. An Ossery of Bones is sort of like, well, isn't an Ossery automatically meant to be full of bones? Um, a def um, defleshing chamber, or well, technically that should be a flensing chamber, chamber um, I would suggest, but you know, uh, I'm not the author. Uh, flooded corridor. Um, it, uh, and it, all of this is, is public domain artwork. That's fine. It works. Um, it's a decently used. Hall of Remembrance. Again, nice amount of detail. Um, and for the most part, this is probably quite an easy scenario to drop in to your ongoing campaign. Um, you know, isolated village, in peril, crypt to explore. Nothing too large, um, but. Um, but, uh, but enough of it. And then we've got essentially we have a we have the epilogue and a list of all the magical items. So um, gauntlet of acid resistance. Um, but, uh, so essentially you can plunge your hand into vats of acid or punch oozes or something. Um, but, uh, communing with the cosmic void if you get to that point. So yeah, you've got the, the, the cosmic horror out there and you can literally become part of it or, or, or connect to it. Um, Everflowing chalice and then we've got a sort of like sentient sword of righteousness, which is obviously the ultimate really sort of like, um, I suppose, treasure you, know, you fight with, going to want to come away with. Um, which, uh, so yeah, that is Ominous Crypt of the Blood Moss for um, uh, Old School Essentials. Um, nice little adventure, you can find that on Drive Through RPG. Um, fairly easily. Um, I mean, this is obviously this is a, a print from it, you know, back, done by Kickstarter and then fulfilled by um, by Drive Thing. So, ominous um, crypt of the blood moss, decent sort of little adventure you can add to your ongoing um, old school essentials or other um, old school Renaissance role playing campaign. Anyway, uh, I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing the nook. If you have, then please do click on the like button down below and. If you want any comments or feedback, I appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook, where you'll see me out here um, with a parcel and a book or game, which I will unbox and chat about for uh, the, you know, to the best extent of my knowledge, for roughly 10 minutes or so, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. In fact, mm. Then please do hit that subscribe button down below. In the meantime, thanks again for watching another unboxing in the nook. I'll be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.